super simple lower body warm up if you have sore knees after sitting down for a really long time. So we're gonna activate four muscle groups. I'm gonna start from calf, I'm gonna go into hamstrings, quads, and finally glutes. You can use resistance band, however, you don't have to. We're gonna start with uh, calves. So going all the way up on your tiptoes and slowly going down. Ten to fifteen times, or even more. You can do up to twenty. Once you've done that, you go all the way down on the floor. Get your heels quite close to your glutes. Up, cross, arms, cross your chest, and you're gonna walk out. hamstring activation and warm-up try to go as far as you can maintain your hips off the floor you can have resistance band across your knees here I'm gonna add extra glutes involvement between 10 and 15 repetitions after that Grab your chair, have a seat on the edge, hold on strong, one leg is 90 degrees, the one slightly more extended, and we're going to be lifting without changing leg position. You can add resistance band here, so we're aiming around 20 reps. So if you add resistance band, you're going to obviously add much more resistance. So it goes somewhere here, just below your knees. I would recommend to use heavy resistance band. However, you can start from medium. Okay. Once you've done your quads, you're going to go back to your glutes. So again, you can do this with resistance band or without. I'm going to show you with resistance band. So similar position like we did hamstrings. Heels quite close to your glutes. Hands across your chest. Lifting up your hips and pulling apart legs. glutes activation as I said you can use it without or with band squeeze your glutes on top as hard as you can you can do between 15 and 20 repetitions For maximum results, repeat this circuit three to four times. As I said, each exercise between 10 to 20 repetitions. You can perform this warm up before run, before exercising, or just during your lunch break to break down the day, activate your lower body and 